Hello everyone, welcome to Homewood Spirit. This is Vladimir. I have here another project for you today. It's gonna be this little wee cute squirrel. Uh, it is quite easy project. Uh, there are a few harder cuts, but I will show you exactly how to do them. So don't worry. And uh, it's good practice project. And stay tuned through the whole video because I'm sharing with you tips and tricks from Whittling, so it's definitely worth it. And uh, at the moment I'm on my, on my way to the workshop and it's quite a beautiful day here in my hometown. Perfect day for some Whittling. Let's do it. Okay, so I have here this little squirrel, which I would like to show you how to carve it. Um, yeah, I, I believe it's quite a simple project. It's not that easy, but it's reasonably easy. How I do it is that uh, I do a clay model first. So I know what am I doing? And then uh, I do the prototype and uh, yeah, then I make a step-by-step -step tutorial. I just found this little squirrel um, in one shop and uh, I quite liked it. And uh, I decided to make a carving from it to, and show you how to do it. Uh, in this uh, in this uh, project, we will need, of course, whittling knife. Uh, uh, I suggest you to uh, to grab some detailed knife with flat blade and tip, uh, a pointy tip. Uh, we will need a pencil and uh, the strop as well. So make sure your knife is sharp, just like that and a block of wood this one is bus wood um, i imported it from america and it's really really nice wood uh, this is inch by inch by two inches so 25 mil by 25 mil by 50 mil roughly uh, first what i do is that uh, i grab a pencil and um, i mark the centers of the sides all four I use the middle finger as a as a guide, so I, I mark straight line like this, and um, uh, I taper down uh, just these corners because it helps me to to hold it conveniently, and I start to cut out these whole corners to those two lines. In here you can see I'm carving the edges, I mean corners. So first I take the corner off, it creates another two corners and I cut the corners. This is uh, the fast way how to get rid of the material and here I'm doing paring cut that can be the paring cut can be quite dangerous because I can cut myself in the thumb so I always try to avoid the swings of my thumb and of the knife so I usually end up like this avoiding each other Not every time, but I try to. I cut myself already many times in the thumb. Sometimes it's a good idea to grab um, some thumb protectors. This one has a hole already. Yeah, that was, that was a bloody whittling. <laughs> but all the wounds, wounds will heal eventually but it's a good idea to protect ourselves for sure we don't we don't want to get hurt 
as well uh, in the other on the other hand uh, it would be nice if I would have my glove which is somewhere in the ferry it's going from the way uh, from from China from Aliexpress but yeah so hopefully it's gonna be here soon all right so this is what I do <clears throat> right it was the first step uh, the second step is that we mark we mark here the top uh, just just like a very very little ellipse like that and at the bottom we will mark a little bit bigger ellipse so the squirrel can stand on something just like that and now so this is the bottom this is the top and now uh, here will be let's say this, this is gonna be back so th there will be tail I divided in a half this line and the top in the halves as well and I mark kind of like a rounded rounded curve like that same on the other side half half and a rounded <laughs> beautiful round right my hands are shaking a little bit I'm like an old man already <laughs> all right like this and the front one just in the middle I will do rounded curve line from this corner to this corner same on the other side just like that roughly and um, now I carve I just follow my lines and I carve until this line and until this line sort of like I will make I will make the wood rounded this is the bottom part so I'll make it rounded like this and then round it in here the wood is super soft I've just ordered new knives this one is a uh, Drake knife and I'm so happy, so satisfied. Very, very nice knife. Comes sharp straight away. So all you need is a strop. You don't need to sharpen it. And um, yeah, I, I'm a little bit afraid about my fingers now, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah happy ass with this knife so just follow the lines this is the top of the squirrel just like that yep beautiful uh, so this is the back uh, with that with that halved curve here and uh, I will also uh, round this front a bit so it's gonna look kind of like a little pillow very rounded pillow see so that was the front and then the other side I just round it just a little adjustment just like that and now um, the next step is that I redraw 
redraw the, the, the pattern of the squirrel on the block. So it's gonna look like this. And um, because it's gonna take way too much time, I have decided to uh, to uh, redraw the pattern on the similar block and carry on straight up with carving. And uh, if you want, you can download this pattern um, from my website, from homewoodspirit.com. It will look something like that. There will be also uh, the opposite side for the other, other side. So it's a good idea to mark both of them. Um, you will find the link just below this video. And uh, when you download it, you will also get some four basic Whittling projects, which I've prepared. So they, they, they will be included in this patterns and there will be probably also more patterns very soon. All right, so when we get the squirrel marked like this, uh, we start with the head. Okay, so let's do some Paring cuts on the head, just like that. Nice, easy cuts. What I do is that I just follow the marked line. Just like that. And can already cut this corner and this corner just to shape the head a little bit. Here I would like to show you one thing that um, this knife has a, a straight blade and with this knife when the blade goes a little bit upwards, um, I can do easier these rounded curved corners. Because what can happen with this knife is, with this uh, straight blade is that it starts to kind of like uh, dig into the wood. And <laughs> what can happen is that uh, um, it will kind of like chip off the, the, the sharp blade. This is what happened to my father. Um, he was pushing it way too much and um, yeah, chipped off a bit of, a bit of blade. It's a Swiss, br a Swiss brand, um, good quality and strong s steel, but my father was my father was stronger, let's put it this way. <laughs> All right, let's carry on with our squirrel um, with the stop cuts. We do this little notch below the, below the mouth. Just like that, that's the one. And now, we can move to uh, these stop cuts between the head and uh, the tail. I slowly make my way through, through this wooden barricade. like that you can start just with the small pieces no rush we don't have to grab a big chunk of, of wood just step by step and you will get there. Just like this. And like this. Chuck. And 
check because here I carve against against the grain or yeah yeah against the grain I use the tip of my knife just to smoothen it so I go with the grain the finished look will be a bit smoother and the whole thing the whole squirrel will be neater and I quite like it so that was another step uh, the next step is that I cut this this uh, tail here I do first I do the stop cut like that and then I carve towards it just like that and here it's it's a little bit harder to meet but with the gentle little slicing cuts and a bit of patience <laughs> I can get to some surface which from my point of view is acceptable something like that and then I carve the bum just like this and like this all right and now um, I will start with following these lines and making a V cuts so let's do it I need to focus now quite a lot one two okay that was one cut then the other side Oopsie. Just like that. All right. Looks like I forget something here, so I need to return back. Yeah, that's better. So we can see the tail already. Nice. We will do the same thing under the under the head. Follow this line. Just like that. And like that one side and the other side like this like this slowly again I forgot something here Oh well, let's run through it a few times and it will do. <clears throat> All right. So we got our head and tail visible. And the next thing is that uh, I would like to make the tail more pronounced. So I just use the tip of my knife and I will cut this whole thing away. I'm trying to not to hit uh, the tail with, with the tip of my knife so it won't be visible on the finished thing. I will do the same thing here under the, under the head. Just like that. And um, 
The last thing is that I want to make the squirrel a bit of shoulders. Which will look like that. This and I will do triangular cut. This can be a bit tricky because the knife is quite deep and sometimes it's hard to meet with the tip right in the same place. But with a bit of practice, um, you can get there. Just like that. Just like this. And I'll make it rounded a little bit. I would like to do a little test here because it's quite hard to communicate with you. Uh, if you, I would like to ask you one thing. If you like the video, uh, if you can now hit the like button and as well, if you don't like the video, well, you are probably not here anymore, but if you don't like it, uh, hit the dislike button because it can help me to actually realize if, 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 if you if people like it or not and uh, if i can carry on with these tutorials so thanks for your cooperation if you want to talk to me just use the comment comment uh, windows down below and we can have a little chat So I'm just trying to finish the other side just like this, same thing. And like that, <coughs> make the shoulder a little bit around it. Yep, that's about it. <coughs> And I can move on to the arms. There's quite a bit of material which I can get rid of. So let's, let's move. Just like that. And now take these. Still go deeper. And let's use this kind of like stop cut to here. That's about it. Nice. Same on the other side. Just, just start start with the s smaller ones. You don't have to cut the big chunks. So just smaller and then bigger. Same thing, just two steps. Smaller and then bigger. And like that. Get carve this chip off like this shut up get in there just like that that's about it and um I will make the legs. Oh uh, yeah, I can I can now uh, decorate the legs. So what I do, I just do simple little V cuts like this. Just gentle small ones. It will add to the character a little bit. 
very very detailed that's me <laughs> So there are legs and the, the claws or the nails and or whatever the squirrel has and uh, let's pronounce these arms and hands just with the cuts like that. So start with a V cut like this and follow it all around until you meet in here and that's it so the hands are pronounced and visible just like that i can taper down this sharp corner taper this sharp corner and now i'm quite happy uh, the next thing is the tail. Let's move on to some finishing. So I'll smoothen the side like this and smoothen the other side. Just like that. And uh, what I do is that I decorate it it's quite simple but i believe it's quite powerful technique and it improves the look of the squirrel yeah so just a simple v-cut one Just like that, simple V cuts. It's not necessary, but it's good practice as well. So I go with like angle 45 degrees and uh, same on the other side and I meet somewhere in in the groove simple tail decorated quite nice uh, yeah. Um, yeah the next thing is that I can start detailing the head we are almost there so I'm carving around the ears just like that make the head more rounded I can play with it a little bit if I want just like that shaving by shaving little by little the top is also quite easy like this and uh, I will make the bottom of the head a little bit rounded so I get rid of this sharp sharp edge same on the other side I'm trying to carve with the grain like that can go off and yeah the last two things what I do is I decorate the ear you can also find the ear in the pattern and um, also I will do the eye and again simple and all my TV V cut. Just like that. And the 
I, same V cut, just like this, and uh, there we go. Yeah, that's about it. Here she is, a little squirrel. Quite easy, right? I mean, yeah, there are a few, few cuts which are not, not that easy, but um, I showed you how to, so I believe you can make it happen. Uh, I am here in uh, my workshop back in Czech Republic. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to leave me a comment, um, we can communicate like this. That would be nice. And uh, also under the video, there will be a link so you can uh, follow uh, and join our Facebook group where we share and uh, have some fun. <laughs> so thank you again and uh, I will see you in next Whittling video. Bye. Have a nice day.